Good morning everybody on a grey day here in Tupelo Bay, South Carolina and uh, today is Saturday so we always talk about short game Saturday anything that I think is going to help you score better around the green and last Sunday I was watching the Alfred Dunhill tournament and their greens run on the stump meter around between 10 and 10 and a half on PGA Tour standards, that's actually a little on the slow side. But they'd had a lot of rain, and so the greens were a little slow. This is a perfect day because we've had a little bit of rain. It's a gray day. The mowers haven't been out. They haven't cut the greens. What drove me nuts all day was watching these, you know, world-class players leaving their putts short, 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 short. And even at the uh, tournament that Tiger Woods hosted in the Bahamas, time and time and time again, these players left their putts short. There is absolutely no need to ever leave a putt short. Practice not leaving your putt short. And here's the biggest problem. When people do a practice swing to decide how hard to hit it, they look at the hole. Now, today, the green's slow. I've got a little uphill putt and the green is wet. I need to hit this a little bit firmer. So rule number one, go to the practice putting green before you tee off to get a feel for the speed of the green. Usually the putting green and the golf course greens are going to be very, very similar. So you want to go ahead here and I would, you know, hit a couple of putts. And I can see, okay, that one was a little bit too hard. So then I hit the next one maybe a little bit softer. That's about the right distance that I want to go. 12 to 18 inches is where I want to go. So I'm going to hit a few putts. I'm also going to go and hit a few long putts. And for those of you that have been to the school with me, if you remember, we practice the long putts by looking at the hole. So the principle I use is the basketball player who's shooting hoops. He's going to look at the rim and shoot. If it's too hard, next one's going to be a little softer. If it's too soft, next one's going to be a little harder. So what I do with my long putts put a pile of balls here and stand before I tee off. I'll stand and hit some long putts up to a hole from there, maybe come back here, get a feel for the speed. Now, when you're practicing, this is what you want to do. And I do this before I go and tee off almost every single time. I want you to get a couple of tees. I want you to put a tee behind the hole about 12 inches and another tee about 18 inches and my goal here is to try and finish past the 12 inch tee but short of the 18 inch tee that's my goal so then I'm going to take you know three or four balls stand here now my goal here is not to hit there obviously my goal is to put the ball in the hole so I'm not trying to go there but if I miss the hole then that's where I want the ball to finish. They once asked Jack Nicholas, you know, Jack, how far past the hole do you like to hit your putts? And he said, I never like to see my ball go past the hole because it means I missed the putt. So that's true. So I'm still trying to sink it, but I'm going to go ahead here and hit this putt. And if I miss, there, I put the ball between the two tees. That for me was successful in the pace. I always use my putting mirror. Again, I've done tips before. If you don't have a putting mirror, go to the website. That's the most valuable teaching aid. I think any golfer who's serious about the golf game should have a putting mirror in their golf bag. So I always put my putting mirror out to make sure I get my, my posture correct, my alignment correct, so that when I make my stroke, there, I hit it too softly because I didn't do my practice swings beforehand and the green is slow. So you see what happens is the subconscious will go back to the last time you putted. So A, when you do your practice swings, don't look at the hole. Look here, look beyond the hole. So if I go here and I use my line to help me with alignment, and I do my practice swing looking a little bit beyond the hole, now if I miss, ball went the right distance. 
So when you go to the practice green before you tee off, work on the long putts and the short putts to get your feel. That will help you eliminate three putting.